Hey everybody, this is Army Guy E8 and welcome back to World of Tanks console. Today we're looking at the premium Swedish tier 9 heavy tank, the STRV Kilo, also called a Strids Von. This is the unskinned missing in action tank from the action hero season with Commander Colonel James Braddock, aka Chuck Norris. This is the second Swedish heavy tier 9 tank, but only the first premium. So I guess you could say it makes it kind of a rare tank. We took this tank onto the battlefield 64 times so we could see how it performs under every condition. And this is the bluff, the bottom line up front. It has a strong turret, a strong gun, good speed, but low strength in the hull. Let's look at some details. In the mid 1950s, Sweden purchased Centurion Mark III tanks from the United Kingdom. At the same time, Sweden was developing its own KRV projects. When the decision was made to combine the ready KRV chassis with the Centurion Mark 10 turret, work on the vehicle was carried out in June of 1959. However, production proved to be too expensive and the project was discontinued. Sweden continued to purchase vehicles from the British. Let's look at the numbers. The speed on this tank, you're gonna get up to 40 kilometers per hour. The gun, it has a 10.5 centimeter, 105 millimeter Lima 52. Rate of fire off the assembly line is 5.17 rounds per minute. We have ours pumped up to 6.38 with Chuck Norris having just four skills. Reload time is 11.6 seconds out of the box. We have ours down to nine seconds flat and you'll see that in the battle. Aim time is 1.8 seconds and accuracy is 0.33 starting out but with four skills we have our shot group to 0.30 and I know as we get up to nine skills it's gonna be nice and tight. View range is an amazing 466 degrees. Ammo, you're looking at penetration for Alpha Ammo at 249, penetration for the Bravo Premium 298. Every time you squeeze the trigger, you're going to punch the enemy for 390 hit points. But the best part of this gun, 10 degrees of gun depression. All right, let's look at the armor. For the tank, focus on this. The turret is very durable and has a Armor thickness of 152 to 380 millimeters. The drawback is the low strength hull. The, fronter, the frontal armor, the upper and lower plate, has between 90 and 118 millimeters of thickness. So be careful not to expose the front plates to the enemy if possible on the battlefield. All right, we have four skills in Chuck Norris in the tank and he's ready to go. He has six sense, rapid reload, situational awareness, and steady aim. You can see the equipment loadout we're running. We have stabilizers, advanced loader, optics, and targeting info. This tank makes perfect use of its excellent gun depression, strong turret, and aim time to make a real difference in the battle. So let's get on our armor, let's get in this tank, and let's get onto the battlefield and show you how it can perform. In this battle, we find ourselves on Kazarine. It's a 10-9-8 battle, so we're right in the middle of the field. We're going to start by pushing ourselves down towards the 9-0 line, I do believe. All right, here we're gonna slow up a little bit. I wanna take a peek, usually right around the ravine is where the uh, World of Tanks has decided to make a more likely enemy contact location. Okay, here we go. We have a machine up top. We saw a big punch into our friendly vehicle on the left. Somebody hit him for about 750. So we're making it to the ravine just about the same time the enemy team does. So we're going to sit here for a second. We want to use that view range of 466 meters. Artie's focusing, and we've lost the tank. We're down by one. Let's let it develop. Let's see 
who else is going to show up because you know right when you think you see one or two tanks you come around the corner there's five more and there we go one of our teammates is being uh, pressured by two tanks he's got a light tank and a machine we decided to go ahead and push up already got a good punch in for about 373 let's we got to support him the machine thinks he's alone so let's see if we can get in here get a few snapshots in the machine must be on a full reload. He is hiding and pulling back. We're spotted. So now we're on the radar. Machine's going to be loaded here pretty soon. Oh, we squeezed the trigger just too soon. Oh, and he hit us just as we fired. We fired a little too high. Didn't get a penetration off that either. Let's find find him right into the final drive, right on the side of the front track. We got a good hit into him for 381, and he goes down. All right, there are four of us here together. There were five, now we're down to four. I thought I saw a red enemy vehicle just around the up. There he is. Hey, oh, it's a 4,005 big gun. There's multiple. There's three enemy right here. We need to stay safe. You can see our reload is right around 9 seconds. 4,005 should be on empty. Oh no, we missed wide left. We were trolled. <laughs> oh man. Alright, now let's put a shot into the 4,005. That round parked a little left too. You see how it went a little bit to the left side. But it hit. Alright, this light tank. He's uh, the tiger shark up on the hill thinking he's spotting everybody out. We need to finish off this 4,005. Here we go. Snap. All right, I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, no, we got an E4. And the Tiger Shark. Let's get the Tiger Shark off the board. Oh, he rams and he kills himself. Oh, and he moves just in time to miss that shot. That's three shots we missed early. The possibilities. I see another tank destroyer coming around the corner. Ooh. It's a lot of action going on. We are up by four just lost a teammate. Artie did a light splash. We pinned the E4. We bounced. A shot coming in from the left. We're surrounded. There are five enemy here. They're everywhere. Oh, there's so many. We need to get a kill shot into the E4. Still 7 to 11. Stay alive. Keep moving. We're going to have to get a quick kill. Snapshot. Snapshot. Oh, we missed. Or did it bounce? We gotta watch out for this 268. I think he's pinned down. We're in a good spot other than this M48 coming at us. We can get a snapshot into the top of his turret because he was head down. We bounce a shot off the strong frontal turret on this tank. Now Artie's right here. Artie's pushing us. Artie is... Go! Oh, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Ho oh, ho ho So many. We're up by six. We did 34-25 in damage. Let's see who's left on the battlefield. We have we have them outnumbered pretty well. We're up by six. Oh, we came out of this battle just a little too quick. You can see we blocked 1152, so that's preferable. That that kept us alive. All right, let's jump ahead. Let's see the end of the battle. And victory, outstanding. All right, let's see how we did. Did we get first, second, or third place? Oh, we did. We got first place. Wonderful. Do a little screenshot of that. First place. Okay, let's look at the details. Let's see how we did. We fired all alpha ammunition in this battle. We used no premium ammo. We made some silver. 47,000 silver made. We caused 3425 damage. We assisted in 1685 and blocked 1153. We destroyed two enemy tanks. And James Braddock's working his way up to the commander uh, skills. Ace tanker! Woo! I was not expecting that. That's outstanding. I was hoping for a first class. But ace tanker, we will take it. The battle ended a lot faster than we wanted. But we achieved the ultimate goal. We had an ace tanker and finished first on the team. We caused the most 
damage on our team, but since we got killed, we did not finish top of the leaderboard. All right, hey, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and then check us out over on Twitch for some live streaming action, and we will see you on the battlefield.